These are your top news stories with Bennett. A student opened fire at Rigby Middle School in Idaho. Two students and a custodian were shot and wo wounded. Krista Needing, a math teacher at Rigby, came to the student's aid, calmly dis disarming the sixth grade shooter by hugging her until police arrived. Parents have said that it was the teacher's bravery and compassion that saved lives. Tuesday night, a 15-year-old girl was arrested for stabbing her mother twice in the back on the south side. The teen was charged with second-degree assault and fourth-degree criminal possession of a weapon. A 35-year-old woman reported that her daughter stabbed her twice in the back during the altercation. The woman was taking, taken to Upstate University Hospital and is expected to survive. The police have yet to identify the woman or her daughter. Colonial Pipeline, the nation's largest fuel pipeline, had admitted that they paid $4.4 million to hackers. After the May 7th ransom attack, the company got anxious and paid off the ransom to the hackers. The FBI discourages paying ransomwares because it gives money to criminal organizations. The owner of the pipeline stated, issued a statement saying, quote, I know it's a highly controversial decision, but it's best for the country. Colonial Pipeline provides fuel to homes and companies all across America. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Guess the teacher and win sweet, a sweet frog gift card. Fill out the form in, in the G-Wing Hall. Students with the most correct guesses will win a sweet frog gift card. All forms need to be turned into Miss Saya at in G9, the testing center. Masterminds completed their 2021 season on Wednesday night, posting two final wins to cap their season. In the first game of the final tournament, the team came from behind to upset Amherst seniors Grace Galfaro, Faith Coolbeth, junior Gordon Gallery, and freshman Abby Road led the team to finish the season with a .500 record. Congratulations to all Mastermind players this year. If you're interested in running for student council or class council, please pick up an information packet located in the large cafeteria or the library. These packets are also available digitally. Please reach out to Mr. Hart at rhart at esmschools.org through the email or Google Hangouts to request a digital version. Packets are due Thursday, May 27th. Support the class of 2024 with their Adebellis fundraiser Wednesday, May 19th through Sunday, May 23rd. In order to participate, you must or, uh, order online with their uh, website order.debellas.com and use the promo code ESM20. The afternoon weight room will be closed May, on Friday, May 21st. It will still be open Thursday afternoon and Friday morning. See Coach Twitchell with more, more questions. Class of 2022, Prom is only 24 days away. TJ DJ wants to know what music you wish to listen to. Request at tjdj-request.webnode.com or scan the QR code on screen now. Friday and Saturday will be in the mid to lower 80s with expected thunderstorms. Monday will have mixed sun and clouds with a high of 74. And Tuesday and Wednesday will be in the 80s with expected thunderstorms. I'm Gabby with your weather.
Because of the pandemic, many classes have had their regions canceled, but not all were canceled by New York State. The regions that have not been canceled are English Language Arts Regions on June 17th, Living Environment on June 22nd, Algebra 1 June 23rd, and Earth Science June 24th. If you are taking any of those classes, make sure to ask your teacher what time you'll need to show up at the school. The baseball team won yesterday against Oneida 8-6. The softball team also won beating Oswego 21-4. In the MLB, the 6-0 no hitter happened the season happened last night as Corey Kluber pitched nine innings and had 101 pitches as the New York Yankees beat the Texas Rangers 2-0. This is the first time since 1969 since the MLB had no hitters on back-to-back -back nights. In the NBA, the Grizzlies beat the Spurs last night, led by 24 points from Dylan Brooks. The Spurs came back from a 21-point deficit in the first quarter, but the Grizzlies would ultimately win and hold on for the win. The Los Angeles Lakers rallied from a 13-point deficit at half to beat the Warriors thanks to, less, thanks to LeBron James' clutch last-minute three. The Suns will advance, on to the, advance to the playoffs to take on the Suns, while the Warriors will play the Grizzlies for the eighth seed on Friday. In upcoming games, the tennis team has a match against Fulton. Boys and girls lacrosse both, both play against Fulton. The girls are home and the boy, boy the girls are home and the boys are at Fulton. And I'm Daniel with your sports. For me and everyone else here, have a great day.